Hey, so I watched the broke ass vegan tag. I mean, it's called many different things, but I'm not gonna delve into. But I watched that by a chill vegan, I think her YouTube's called. And I thought, why not film it? Because I like literally definition of myself is a broke ass vegan. So <sighs> question number one, what potato do you film with? Now, luckily I had to get this camera for photography A level. So, well, I'll say I. My mum, lovely Pat, um, with also money from the school. So I actually have a Nikon D5200. How many objects is your tripod made out of? Five, it is the camera box and then four books. Which song do you wish you could afford the rights to? Have you used it in chipmunk form? I never even thought of using it in chipmunk form, like I didn't realize that made it like non-copyrighted like and um, but to be honest any song because copy like non-copyrighted songs are just they're just not the best like they're not really my thing <laughs> how many pennies have you made in the last 28 days like a month oh wait i was in for like three and a half hours one week and then i was off because i was not well and then i was back in and now i'm only in like one day this week so i'ma say maybe 200 pounds in the last month which has all been spent on train tickets and food. Cute. Which window do you film in front of? Um, my bedroom window. Like, luckily the lighting the past couple of weeks hasn't been so bad. Like, it's just been pissing it down. But obviously, as you can tell, you can actually still see me. And it is 20 to 9 in the evening. So, like, big up England. What inspired you to keep making videos even though you haven't found success yet? Um, to be honest, I make videos because I enjoy them. They make me happy. I like filming a lot. Like, I don't know why. Like, I, I was really nervous when I first started filming for some reason, even though I'm literally in my own bedroom. But I just find it a lot more sort of, I don't know, like it's really easy just to talk to a camera. I mean, I'm used to talking to myself anyway, but like, it's just so easy. And I do feel like I have, I do feel like I'm having a conversation. I don't feel like I'm just speaking to myself. But then when I think about it, I'm like, oh shit. But yeah, I enjoy it. It's fun. I don't do it because I'm like, oh, I could possibly get paid if I don't say fuck in a video, but that's not me. What's your favorite hack? <laughs> hack. Um, downloading. Um, if you go on NCS, which is non-copyright sounds on YouTube, downloads and like best of blah 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 non copyright sounds and it has like four songs in a row in one clip and I find that a lot easier for some longer videos that are like 20 minutes or something like that so there's my hack. Um, what video are you most proud of? Right see I mean when I did my like plastic surgery Halloween type thing which I need to do some Halloween stuff already like it's already been a year what the fuck but I'll get into them at some point. Um, yeah, I really liked doing that and I thought like the end result was pretty good. Like I was quite happy with it. Um, but probably the hardest one to film was the mental illnesses one. Um, obviously because I kept stopping and crying. But like I feel like that was probably the most important one to film because I feel like that helped a lot more people rather than just a Halloween tutorial. Who are your favorite fellow broke ass small YouTubers? To be honest, I follow quite a lot of big YouTubers, like obviously as I've mentioned, like Stella Ray, Supreme Banana, Tana Mojo, Brittany Lee Saunders, like just people who I think are sort of real and like themselves. But the people who I follow who are like more small are people that I've known through like blogging and I've sort of become friends with them or through Vegan UK. Like I tend to sort of follow them in the hopes like maybe they follow me back maybe they've unsubscribed I don't know but I do follow them um so yeah um, and last one what video video oh my god <laughs> what video would you create if you had an unlimited budget I would love like love Okay, that's quite now. Um, yeah, I would act like it's an absolute dream to be able to go to Thailand. So I would love to be able to make a sort of traveling video, 
um, that was good quality. <laughs> um, and obviously I just like did loads of things, like, because I feel like sometimes when I go on holiday obviously I've got a very limited budget, whether I have saved up to go with Bren or whether I'm going with family, like I do have a limited budget so everything I do is like, it's a choice because of my money. So I would love to actually be able to go on holiday and be able to film all of this like, shut the fuck up. Um, all of these like amazing things and stuff like that and it'd just be very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, but I think that's all the questions, like I'm not sure if these, some of these questions are slightly different. They seemed different, but these are the only ones I could find on the internet. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very shortly. I actually don't know when I'm going to get this up because our Wi-Fi has been a bit dodgy um, the past couple of days because we keep doing work on it in the morning and then like we just sort of have to wait and hope that it comes back on. Um, but yeah, I will see you sometime in the near future. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Oh, I already said bye. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Bye.